I think I did this joke again, but did this joke before, but I'm gonna do it again. Cause here we go again. We have Nickelodeon yet again getting a YouTube star and making them TV somewhat TV famous famous. Basically just giving them a chance of stardom having its own TV show. Even though it's like how long did it take Fred to get there? <laughs> He's like, yeah, how long did it take Fred to get on TV? Didn't he have like 1 million subscribers and crap? Well, right all the way to 5 million. <laughs> well, it's not really that because Ryan, on the other hand, he has his own toy line. So he has his own toy line and that's basically it. Yeah, you know, he has his own toy line. While Fred, he got his own movie. The well, that's that's kind of like the funny part. It's like, hmm, what's the difference? Toy Line, I think, will still make more money until the point of where it's like, screw you. While the movie still can make money, it's just that it won't make as much when it goes down the line. And I think he made two movies. Like Fred made two movies, and he had two TV shows. <laughs> it's too bad. I mean, the person who played as Fred, he could have been like um, Robin Williams. For those who don't know, Robin Williams first showed up in, what was it, Good Happy Days. So he showed up in Happy Days. They did a spinoff called Mick and Morty or Mick and Mort, Mort, Mort and Mindy. That's it. So, yeah, he did that. And then he kept on going. He kept on going while Fred, on the other hand, he fizzled. He just freaking fizzled. I think they tried to do a maybe kind of spinoff. Actually, he was an alien at one point, but sadly, it that was already the TV show. It wasn't, you know, whatever, man. So interesting enough, you have Ryan who has his own TV show now. And well, Jojo Siwa doesn't have her own TV show, but she is actually definitely promoted by Nickelodeon. And is that about all? The only thing other ones that's like interesting is like the girl who played Insecure and in HBO. I know this is adult content, but still, she also was on YouTube. Yeah, and that was the funny one, the one I was trying to do that one video. Where I was like, ones who was on YouTube, but now on, are on TV. It's like, she was the one that I forgot. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's like, yeah, she's the one that I forgot. But since her show kind of sucks anyways, it's like, yeah, she doesn't really need to be mentioned. I know. That was an ouch. Of course, we do have Annoying Orange. It's like, out of all the ones that they chose, they chose Annoying Orange. Cartoon Network chose Annoying Orange out of all of the cartoons that is on YouTube. They choose Annoying Orange. <laughs> Freaking damn. I would have preferred they actually went with um, Home Runner or Home Star. Yeah, uh, I would have rather they chose him, you know, with, um, crap, now I'm blinking on their names. With Trunk Door the Annihilator. It's like, yeah. I wish they would have went with that. If they would have went with that, that would have been freaking awesome. And all they had to do is just do two skits, which that's what Knowing Orange did was two skits in the video. I mean, in the TV show. The crazy part is like, for me, just the ending of the first episode was just too hypnotic. I mean, the dude kept on dancing it was horrible, but you couldn't look away. I mean, that is the only one I do remember. And everything else, I was like, frick this crap. <laughs> it's like, I gave it a chance. And the chance totally sucked. And I'm glad that it's gone. It's been gone. And I don't know what's going on with Annoying Orange, but I don't give a crap. It's not in the freaking... It's not here anymore. It's kind of funny. Like, Happy Time um, Neighbors or... Friends, happy friends, I'll freaking whatever, man. Those were kind of okay, but meh. And well, Side Night and Happiness did actually join up and have like a bit of TV show. It just sucks that their TV show, in quotations, TV show, it was a stream on a streaming service, VRV, but it could have been something better. Like, for instance, it could have been on HBO and that would have been cool. Or heck, Adult Swim, Adult Swim, you dumbass. Get them, get them, Adult Swim. It's like, yeah, even though it's kind of weird that Adult Swim grabs the freaking online stuff when it's later. Like, for instance, Super Mansion. They grabbed that. They actually did grab that. Final Space, I didn't mention Final Space, I think kind of started, kind of sort of started on YouTube. 
kind of sort of started, which I wonder if they're going to have a second season because I've been waiting right here for a second season. And the only thing I see out of it is that Cartoon Network yet again is airing Final Space. So it's unknown. But good luck on Ryan. I really hope that it won't fizzle just like Fred.